This gizmo can be used for paying invoices and getting a daily pill. Let's give it a whirl. Nothing's happening. It is. It's been like this since yesterday, but no one has repaired it yet. Just my luck. You don't say. I set up my stall here for a reason, but no one comes around anymore. It's around anymore, but it's literally been one day. Are there any others around here? Probably, though I've heard the same thing has happened at other places in the slums. Dang. Really? I haven't heard about this. Oh, you know, the media is all controlled by the government. You think so? Of course. In any case, it's kind of worrying. We need these. Yeah, I had too many other things going on to worry about. Everyone's saying the same thing. We need to stay positive and have faith in a brighter future. She sounds like some, uh, oh, I guess I can turn the game back up. She sounds like some random AI from like a sci-fi game. All kinds of stuff related to the Untail. I'm not a believer. All kinds of stuff related. I'm not a. Hello. Hello, sir. Would you like anything? Just chatting for now. How's business? Could be better, but I'm not complaining. As long as I earn enough to make a living, it's fine. I like this job, even if you see all kinds of weird stuff going on. What do you mean? Like this morning, I got up early to prepare the stand. There was this big man sleeping, like right around the corner, in his underwear. I was worried he would scare off the customers, so I tried to wake him up. And boy, was it hard. I thought I wouldn't ever get him to stand up. That poor man. He said he couldn't remember drinking, but has no memory from the night before. He probably took some drugs. A homeless? Nope. He told me he's a policeman. <laughs> Goes to show that even drummers aren't so happy with their lives after all. Jack and move myself. I didn't realize I was like blocking characters. Uh... For a policeman to go that low, that's really bad. It doesn't matter how much they flash their shiny badge around town, they've got their share of troubles too. Yeah, all about maintaining that image. Yep. Nice, an ad coupon. I don't need it. <laughs> that bridge used to be a dazzling piece of art, welcoming citizens every day. Now a shadow of the past. Pretty sure the client said block 568. I shouldn't waste my time going in here. Whatever's inside must control the power around here. Ooh, messing with power cables brings up bad memories. I'll pass. The info phone. It's displaying a list of the residents. Sin's name. Yep, he's home. Maybe I should give him a ring. Ugh, that button is busted. Whatever's inside must control the power. Sound. Where is it progress? Yeah, clues maybe? Really stressed out client. I guess I can just call Sin from here, right? Waiting. We're right in front of your building, actually. I, uh, just have a small problem. The metal gate is closed. How do I get in? 
Enter the code on the panel. I sent it to you in a message. Hmm. Yeah, I'm too late. He hung up. Did he send it to me in a message? Oh, I guess I should actually read. 4098. What the fuck? Is that a puzzle? It's blocking the way. A building must have collapsed recently. All sectors are falling apart. You piece say that piece. so casually, dude. <laughs> oh, I can't jump up there. Right. Hey, after all these years, their panel is still working? Exclusive. Attempted Squealer's coup d'etat fails thanks to brand new military droids named Tribots. That's old news. As an outsider, one might think that some punks have damaged these mailboxes. However, I'd wager it was the residents themselves. I have to admit that all those security protocols are annoying. Something's in there. Oh, I didn't have that one. Oh, holding X highlights all the stuff in the uh, building. Interesting. Hmm, I could swear. Hey, who the heck are you? Get lost. Not very friendly. I like the use of depth. <sighs> the slums are falling apart. But without any money, what kind of future is ahead of me? Well, I did not mean to walk At into last, this department. Here Oops. you are. I'm half expecting to get jumped. Ah, truly sorry. I had some mm, difficulties on the way. Yeah, mental ones, dude. So, what's the fuss? I'm in deep trouble. I've lost my crippling gun. That's all? Why is it so important? I'm gonna lose my job, that- I'm kinda new on the force. If I tell the chief I messed up, he'll fire me. I just can't afford it. So you're hiring me to find that gun? Okay. How much can you offer? 500 unis. Jesus. A thousand. I can't. 500 is all I can afford. Please, I'm begging you. <sighs> all right. 500 it is. <sighs> Wish I was better at negotiating. Tell me more. Any idea where you lost it? Last night, I was on duty in Drummer Street. This must be the big guy that was sleeping in his underwear on the corner. I'm absolutely certain I lost it during my watch in alley number 12. I had it before. Then why don't you search for it yourself? I can't go outside. If someone notices me without the gun, I'm done for. I don't think that's how that works. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Are you from the police department? No, he's he's got his he's got his hat like ball up in his hand. Of course not. I can't stand them. Uh, then you don't know. Trust me. How come you're living in the slums? I could have sworn cops were drummers. You're wrong. I don't earn that much. But are slummers allowed on the police force? I thought... Please stop the useless questions and do your job. There's no time to waste. Drummer Street, you say? There's a border post to enter the area. I can't pass it. You're a detective. I thought you had credentials to examine the drums. Nope. All my clients are slummers. I usually don't go near the dome. Oh, great. You're a cop. Can't you give me something? Call your colleagues, maybe? I said it. I'm new. I have no one I can trust. In that case, give me your uniform and your badge. I'll impersonate you. This dude must be in so deep if he agrees. Oh my god. Impossible. We don't use badges anymore. 
There's a body scan at the entrance of the dome. It can't be faked. Darn. You're right. Then, uh... Hmm. I know. I have a friend who can do wonders with technology. We get to meet the infamous Shay. She will find a way to get through. Wonderful! Now, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Hey, I'm gonna take some risks for you. You could be a bit more gracious. Please, Mr. Detective, hurry up! Better, but I won't move until I get enough information. What now? I'd like to inspect your apartment. Experience tells me things are often hidden right before our eyes. But I told you, I lost it on Drummer Street. I insist. Let me do my job. Rule number three in my book, never blindly trust your client. That's a pretty good rule. Thanks for the- Hurry up! Let's see. Hey, don't touch my jacket! Don't worry. I'm just rummaging through your pocket to see. Yeah-ha! I found a flyer. One of those activists in the street must have put it there. Keep it. I don't care. Nothing else in the jacket. Without searching through it, I can see an empty bottle of hot juice. Perfect to get drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I can see the other side of the hallway from there. Yeah, this whole building is falling apart. But this was the only apartment I could afford. It's pretty crazy that I can afford a better apartment than a cop. And I'm living off of people's jobs from the slums who are already poor. When did you move in? About two weeks ago. Ah, uh, that explains a barren place. Why did you... None of your... Ooh, no need to get upset. I'm just concerned whether you'll have the dough to pay me. I will. In due time. Uh, two to one, I'll never get paid for this. Hey, maybe I'll get a gun out of it though, you know? What's in there? Just food and clothes. What do you expect? A war fridge? Like wardrobe plus fridge? Do you mind if I open it? I didn't call you to check my fridge. Just a- Who knows? Maybe you left the gun in there. Guess not. Nothing in particular. You know, I'm starting to question your detective skills. Act before thinking. That's what Grandpa always said. That usually works. Not when we're short on time. Oh gosh, if someone finds the gun before me- Got it. I mean, that is- Ward fridges are such a nice invention. Cold air is pushed to the top, so the hot air stays at the bottom to keep the clothes warm. Mmm. Don't tell me you're gonna steal something from my fridge. Uh. Eh, not stealing. Just, um, consider this an advanced payment. Besides, I can't do my job properly on an empty stomach. You gotta be kidding me. Full of delicious reconstituted ant powder meat, full of proteins. I'd better not abuse his hospitality. Sp A tablet. Looks like he used it to perform some searches on the trilab. Find lost item. Pawn shop. Huh. I guess I should be glad to be well ranked for that search term. Too glad. So what? Then no. I had a feeling you lived alone. I do. Two empty. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Ugh, quite the stack. Looks like the guy loves to drink. Something stuck beside the mirror. A picture of sin with a woman and a little girl. I wonder who they are. Well, that explains why he moved out two weeks ago now, doesn't it? This mirror has seen better days. That cup doesn't seem important. However, there are two pills beside it. I'll take one. O o okay. How bizarre. Uh, how lucky. An all-in-one washing machine. Wash yourself, your clothes, or both at the same time. What, you don't just 
hop in with all your clothes on? Well, that's what I do. I only got two ads, but I'm not sure where the other one could be. Because we got one from the trash. I feel like there should be one in the fridge, you know? But there is not. This leads to the bathing area. Okay, so now grab this out. Nice. Anything else here I missed? I got no business. Oh, no, I don't want to go in there. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> Shay's Garage. Oh, oh, okay. Dang. I wasn't expecting that. There's an ad right here. Oh, I didn't have that one. I have a feeling there's an ad on the bed. Hey, that's a collectible ad. something too, right? Maybe? No? That's gonna hurt me. Oh, no, I just can't go through it. Okay, that's fine. What's this for? Oh, dang, brother. What the? Shay. Huh. Hey, Shay. Oh, hi, bro. How you doing? What the heck is that abomination of a machine near the door? Abomination? You mean the circular saw? Pretty neat, huh? Neat? That thing almost killed me! Well, you know, the slums aren't very safe for lone women. So, I built this ultimate crime detection device. The way you press the first button gives out a lot of information. Blood pressure, DNA, stress level. Got nasty intentions. The system detects it and triggers the saw. Now tell me, are you feeling angry or stressed lately? Are you insane? Well... <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, but it will lose a fit. Deactivate it. Uh, okay. But only during the day. I've got valuable stuff in here. So, why are you here? What were you doing here in the dark? I'm performing some isolation tests. Isolation? Yep. In our world, there are irritating environments. Loud sounds are usually the worst offenders. Don't need to tell me. My neighbors can be pretty loud at night. See this device? It's a hearing aid. I've succeeded in reversing its functions. So instead of amplifying sounds... It's blocking them? Glad to see you're following for once. Hey, I'm always up to finding out about more questionable inventions from you. But why was the garage closed? What if someone sneaks inside while I'm wearing these? I wouldn't want to take the risk. Well, I passed through and you didn't notice. You're not just anyone. You're the terror of the fight. The one and only bro. Don't overdo it. 
Oh, my cleaning bot is all messed up. It shocked me. I see. Can you fix it? Yes, but you're better off leaving it in pieces. What? Listen, you said it yourself. That bot is dangerous. It electrocuted you. Even if I fix it, what proves it won't hurt you again? Would you feel confident staying in the same room as a murderer? <laughs> what if I told you to stay in the same room with a murderer? The intro told me so. Huh? We're talking about a machine here. So what? I have a better idea. Judging from the aspect, this model is at least 30 years old, right? Yeah. I got it from the dump close to my apartment. But it worked fine. At least until now. One of the components contains u -Stom. That ore has run out on the surface of the planet. It's not used anymore, but I can sure have some use for it. So, here's my offer. I buy it back from you for 200 unis. With that money, you can buy a new one. Then, it's a deal? Knowing you, I'm pretty sure it's worth 10 times more, but... Okay, take it. Good! I've credited your 200 unis. I just wonder what I'll say to Graf. He liked it. So I had to show... I don't think so. I need your help to get across the border post. I knew this day would come. See, I've prepared the perfect response to this. No. For real? Now, where did I put it? Just a sec. Gotta search. There we go. Only two types of things can cross the border. Authorized citizens registered in the mainframe and controlled merchandise. Crocodile handbag, anybody? Any living thing stored in packages will be automatically destroyed. Therefore, the best solution consists of killing you. Not an option. I know. Well, technically this would work, but if you're not willing to try... Okay, the only other way isn't much easier. Wait, why would you present the hard option first? I guess just because you want to kill me? How to become an authorized citizen. The border post scans the user at the entrance in order to get a body print. This information is then compared to data contained within the local border post server. Each border post owns a copy of the data, which is replicated from and to a central mainframe. So we spoof the data at the local post? Thus, you need to access one of these servers, add your body print, and... Ta-da! You're allowed to cross like a regular dome citizen. Doesn't sound too hard. Oh, I forgot to mention the deadly security equipment guarding the server. Nothing you can't handle, though. Well... Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm starting to wonder if that job is really worth the trouble. Mm. I promised not to interfere with your PI job, but you're seeing the glass half empty. Think of it as half full instead. Great. If you become an allowed citizen, you can start prospecting new clients in the drums and get rich. That's a big if. Those rich folks will never be interested in a stinky, low-grade detective like me. Just need to get an all-in-one washing machine, my brother. But I guess it's worth a shot. That's the spirit, bro. How you doing these days? Busy. That's the thing. Ever since we found ourselves back a few years ago, we barely we used to be so close back then. What happened? The world has changed. We've changed. Time is money, so we can't spend too much time idling like right now. You're right, but that's a shame. A shame. I'm on my way. Wait, aren't you going to do a little training before tonight's? Tonight's what? The fight, of course. Oh yeah, but. You forgot again? We do that every night. Well. I did forget the virtual arena. I don't know how I could, but here we are. Really sorry. Memories keep slipping from my mind these days. They probably make a pull for that, dude. Someday I might even forget my name. You already made that joke. I see. Your brain is like Gogogola's soda fizz. Full of bubbles. Yeah. Cheer up. I'm used to it. That's part of the package of doing business with you. Let me explain everything from the start. I own a virtual arena equipment running on a non-regulated side of the triweb. You do the fighting, I do the managing. Spectators bet on your performance. 
The better you fight, the more money I'll make. The money we'll make. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a share of the pie. I'm betting she gives me 8%. What percentage are we talking about? 40. What? I agreed to this? You'll have to take my word for it. <sighs> Feel like I'm being conned. Hey, I'm taking risks too. These events aren't fully legal, you know? Besides, without my equipment, you wouldn't get anything at all. Yeah. Get to the important part. How do I fight? The cabin detects your vital readings and summarizes them into a single life bar which everyone can see. Everyone? That's kind of um, indiscreet. You should have read the paragraph about private life before signing. <laughs> the program includes AI virtual opponents. Bots, if you prefer. They're easy to get rid of. Their appearance and moves are based off of people and things you've seen in real life. So I wonder if it's based on things in the game or if they're using this as like their opportunity to pay homage to other games. However, the real objective comes only with the night fight. After progressing through the level, you'll encounter your true opponent, the master, a real person. That's what the public is here for, an epic and decisive battle. Sounds dangerous. No pain, no gain. Each time you get hit, your life bar gets depleted. Not only that, but lasers in the cabin make you feel the impact, as if you really took a blow. I love it. Amazing, huh? I wouldn't say that. You're fine, as long as your life bar doesn't get empty. Just don't die, Five Head. What? Don't tell me. You could die. Well, technically, yes. <clears throat> but this can't happen. <laughs> Relax. Fatal blows can't happen during training. <laughs> Only in night fights. The thrill of death drastically increases the bets. And when you're about to run out of health, you can escape. I'll send you a reminder. No worries. I wouldn't risk losing you. That's pretty reassuring. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> it'd be a lot of trouble to find someone crazy enough to replace you. Dude, gameception. Good luck. Yeah, gonna need a lot of it. Not much in here. I don't like throwing things away. These little bits and pieces could be useful someday. You just need an open mind. And a bank account in the red. Is that a bike? It used to be. I converted it into a vacuum cleaner. Much more useful. <laughs> For you. I feel like we need green shelves. Green lighting in here. For this game. We're no longer playing an orange game. Dude, that would that sounds miserable. Okay. Let's see. Oh, good enough. It's not showing me this in home assistant, whatever. Whatever. A little bit deeper green. Sure. Go with that. A toolbox. Maybe that screwdriver could be useful? Don't even think about it. You don't need mine. Remember, the tip of your apartment key double serves as a screwdriver. How useful. And it automatically adapts to all sizes. That's terrifying. Oh yeah, that's right. You did that for me. What's that? Are you hiding children in here? Bro, never. I hate brats. These are drawing attempts from artificial intelligence. I thought I could make some money by winning this art competition. Wow, that's very prescient considering the current drama. They're not very good. That's an understatement. Robots are capable of many things, but artistic talents are very much out of their league. At least for the way the human brain interprets it. 
You can't reproduce the human creative side with algorithmies? Well, I've read a lot of studies. Theoretically, we could reproduce the entire human brain, except for creativity. AIs can mimic some patterns, but designing something from scratch by themselves and looking good? That's the only thing even you will always have an advantage over. Hey, no bot has ever matched me when it comes to fighting. They literally talked about war bots like 10 minutes ago. At least I've got something in common with Shay. Ah, I've heard about those. Put some meal replacement tube in there and it reconstitutes something that looks like real food. It's not, looks like. This is real food. Give it a try. Not a chance. Nice. An ad coupon. Shay's definitely the biggest fan of meal replacements in tubes around here. What do you mean, replacement? They contain everything you need to live healthy. Says who? Science. Science doesn't sustain me. I need real food. Ugh. How long has this been here? Some kind of plant grew in it. Oh, so that's where I left my cup of energy <laughs> up. Nope. Full of useless doodads. To each his own. A robot hunter trophy? <laughs> no, silly. It's just a mask I use to protect myself from the heat when I'm welding. You, you don't wear a mask to protect yourself from the heat. At least that's not the main reason, just saying. Shay's anti-intrusion system must be in there. That's a weird drawer, and it's locked. I wish I wasn't being spied on, even here. It's for your own safety. What if something happens to you while you're in there? Don't you get life readings and all kinds of figures? Yeah, but I can't take my eyes off of you. Very f oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I'll take a little nap. Yeah, I should have guessed. It's Shay's creation, after all. No money f oh. I know that guy. Sharp Teeth the Thief. He was a popular fighter who retired a few years ago. One of my idols. Hmm. Shay might have a soft spot for him. Hey, what's that? Some kind of giant egg? That's it. No touching. But nope. can you at least tell me what's in there? It's a secret. Ooh, a new invention? Yeah. I promise this will change your life. Let me guess. That's a uh, money-making machine. Not mm. even close. Then, uh, hmm. Take your time. Looks old. It is. Some kind of ancient air glider I got out of the lake. Weird. An air glider? Can you really picture anyone standing on that? I do. The shape is aerodynamic. Who knows? Someday we may all travel with that. Yeah. When bears fly. Hmm. Should I do a little training? A plus X then X. B A? Oh, you can run. That's nice. Dude, I've got the moose. A up when thrown. B up alternative. B to pick up item. Quick weapon is LB. Quick feet is RB. Weapon throw. Okay. Oh yeah, I was right. Charge special. B during combo finisher. So that's what the uppercut that I was doing is. Uh, do training one. Give it a shot. Yeah. 
screen. Dang, level up. Alright, so let's grab health this time. I think that is everything in here. I don't see... I don't see any ads. I wonder if... Hey, no Private? Why do you think it's locked? Now I'm even more curious. Other than, of course, the dresser. <laughs> uh, I don't... I didn't expect that, but that's pretty funny. think that that is all that there is to do in this area. All inventors need their own monkey wrench. Should sure. I have it? No. That's fair. Um. <laughs> for the lever, Kronk. Let me guess. Hmm. Must be for closing the garage door. It's not for closing the garage door, but I'll activate it anyways. Hmm? Nothing seems to be happening, huh? What's that noise? N nothing. I just walked into some metal scrap. You know your garage could use some tidying. I never lose anything. Watch your step, bro. Better take that lever before she notices. If I can use the lever on the drawer. Apparently it's protected by a passcode. So you're saying my lever will not work? That's a weird drawer, and it's locked. Fine. Can't leave yet. Gotta ask sh I do? Got a minute? Nope. Access the server, add my body print to the server. Huh, that's all fine and dandy, but how do I do that conclusively? Coming up! Whoa, what's happening? Your body just got printed, my dude. I got your body print with my own scanner, and it's perfect. What? What's perfect? I injected the necessary information into your DNA. Huh? Isn't that dangerous? Not at all. Carrying info into your DNA is the most reliable way. No chance you'll lose it. That is true. That's not what I meant. Few people master the experimental DNA transportation. You're lucky. I'm one of them. I'm always the lucky one. What info did you inject? Your body print. You injected my body print? Into my body? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I kind of see what you're going for here, but it's more complex than you think. I had to include an encryption key, a data mining program. Forget it. What do I do now? Border post 001. There's a tall building with a roof that's shaped like a pyramid. We can't miss it. Yeah. I think I remember that weird pyramid. Find a way to enter the building, then connect to the server. By connect, I mean touching it. Those servers are offline, so direct contact is required. Air gap, baby. I programmed it to automatically hack the operating system and install your body print into the database. Pyramid shaped building. Insert thingy into doodad. Got it. Will it work? Probably. What if it doesn't? You get attacked and brutally murdered. Then I'm guessing you'll be chased by numerous security drones and tripod guards. Great. Trust me. I think it might work. Uh, I'm probably the most foolish person in the universe, but all right. I trust you. Cool. What about training? Expect to face training brings some money and I won't pretend to know anything about computer. Like, hack the server on the network? I know this sounds crazy, work every day. but their main server is not connected to the triweb. Color me disappointed. How you doing these days? Busy. That's the ever since time is money. Gotta go. Okay, don't. I'm like, this should fix the servers. No way. No. I wanted to see if she updated it. Okay, now that I have some Eunice, I want to go 
do the uh oh god this thing some more it wiped out everything i was doing okay Go right here. Hey, uh, coupon? That's the big treasure? Oh well, this goes into the collection. Ooh, 85. Oh, I got it already. Okay. Hmm, rubble. So 206. So that was too far away. So I need to be more this way, up or down. Hmm. No, they don't. I tried when I first got one. Full of garbage. Okay, right, so 228. So that means it is either up, straight up, or straight down, I think. Hmm. Next. Okay, so I think straight down. I thought hmm, so too. Just rub oh. Hmm. So 206. 207 is closer. Oh no, sorry, 207 closer. 3 was 228, so maybe it's over here. Nothing useful. Ah. Uh. I'll play one more time. I'll roll the dice. Let's try this spot that it was last time. Hmm. Rubble. Four thirty-five. Okay. So let's try straight up. Hmm. Nope. No, no. This time I'm just gambling the money. Okay, so 263, so that means it's either straight up or it's over. Probably a combo. Ah, I found great. A 200 units coupon. Got all my money I back. I wonder who loses that much money in the dumps. So I wonder how many times you can do this. Hmm, full of gar- So 280, so let's try try just right here hmm neck okay so that means it's gonna be either over here or straight down I think hmm just rock. okay so I think it's both so it's gonna be like here yes a small coupon for 50 units nice yeah if that's the treasure I'm good Welcome to Trasher Hunt. 